Well, it looks like the Natty King and friends are back at it again. Yeah, the whole gang is here. But I'm not here for a long time. I'm here for a good time. And the end is near, so let's drink beer. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to the End is Near, so let's drink beer podcast sponsored by Premium Cabinets. Uh, shout out to John Morgan and family over there. If you're looking to get any cabinet work done or kitchen remodeling, holler at them at 314-499-8800. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to the End is Near, so let's drink beer podcast. Today is, fuck is it? It's 21st. Thursday. Yes. Yeah. Thursday, March 21st. Thursday. Yeah. Thursday, March 21st. We were not in last week. We apologize for that. Uh, my dog had fucking pyometra. So, yeah, I don't know, dude. I walked in uh, Friday where I was literally coming to the podcast and I to record, and I noticed that she was, like, sluggish as fuck, and I smelled something. I'm like, that dog pissed in the house, and it could smell. It was horrible. She don't pee in the house. Like, like that nasty, fucking... corrupted uterus smell, yes. right? Yeah, yeah and I immediately worst. knew what it yeah. was. You know, I was like, oh, that's pyometra. Yeah. You know, it I smelled know. like asparagus. Yeah, right. that's actually pretty accurate. Yeah. Who knows? Yeah. Maybe I was a veterinarian for a little while. Yeah, Maybe I you forgot about ask that. enough I questions about, that about my past. <laughs> I forgot, you know, about, but... forgot about that little stint. Yeah, so I, uh, I take her up there. I'm thinking it's a UTI. I just take her to the doctor, and they're like, dude, if you don't take her right now to the emergency hospital, she could be dead. They're like, if you didn't bring her in today and you brought her in tomorrow, she probably would have died overnight. Do you get a sense of kind of like being a savior I'm a hero, when, you, bud. when you hear that? I'm a I had fucking... that I had that with my cat one time, and when the doctor told me that, I got You're the like, biggest fuck. My ego went through the roof, yeah. and it's like that's. And that's every what, time, yeah. every time she like whines, I'm like, do you know what? You know what? You don't even say thanks, right? Like, exactly. You didn't even fucking say thank fucking, you. Fucking, uh, you're God, welcome. Them, you know, them bitches, like. Le- legit i just don't understand the, the 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 lack of gratitude so she's good now oh or? yeah totally good totally good um what kind of a bargain did you get on uh so did you get her a new <laughs> uterus did they fix the old one or is this like an engine I, they took like, it out they it took work? it out and i dude i should have got her fixed years ago because if you get them fixed it doesn't happen right because they don't have a uterus does that make sense there it is is that yeah is that fair i guess so i uh they're like, why? You know, you should have got it. I'm like, fuck, I don't know. I, I don't know. I just one of those things I just never did. She didn't seem like a whore. She, she doesn't, doesn't seem, go out. She, she doesn't go out much. Yeah, exactly. She, she hangs out. <laughs> she's yeah. She's she's, very she's on the couch. Yeah, she's not out fucking she's, slinging it around. No. Town. So I was like, I, you know, what's the problem? You know, I'm not. You know, and they uh, but I, it was about forty five hundred bucks. Oh. Right on. They just hit. Do you have to pay cash for that, or do they let you? Finance They're like, you can it finance it if you want to, but it's some. I just. Oh, that's a rough. I'm sure it was like eighty percent right. interest, probably. Are you so looking at her? Are you it. looking at her going? Yeah, you know, you're nine. You've had a good life. No, they will. They asked me. They asked me. The fucking guy like hinted. He's like, so uh, you she's know, seven and a half. <laughs> I was like, "What do you mean? <laughs> no, dude, do it. Get she's it done." Kind of big. Can't be cheap to feed this uh, dog. Yeah. So we got her knocked out. She stayed there a couple days. Um, came home. She's all good. Right, kids around. a mess. Annabelle was. A- Aspen was just kind of confused. She's the youngest one. She was like, uh, she was kind of like, "Well, hey, we got it. We're going to bed. We forgot to go get Cersei." Yeah. And then Annabelle just was like, she was kind of a wreck. What but, lie do you tell your kids that in the event that she happens to die? I don't know. I, they, well, they were you kinda, didn't lay that groundwork. Well, they well they. I was thinking about it because they called me in there. The the vet surgeon, the vet surgeon. That we'll go with that. Yeah. <laughs> he uh, he was he was like, hey, so her uterus could rupture, and if it does, she'll go septic or sepsis, sure. sepsis, yeah. some fuck. Yeah. Thing. I don't know. So it was it was a. He was he was saying it was really large, fucking huge uterus. So he's like, not filled this with big. shit, not this enormous. Big. Yeah. She's this big. The uterus it was sticking out on the side of her. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So I don't know. She's all good either way. But that's why we were out, folks. Thank you for letting me give you the long, drawn out, winded prayers explanation. To but uh, and we have some backlogged episodes. But I didn't want to hit you guys with that. I didn't want you guys to. We didn't want to hit you with the shit we recorded in November that would have made no fucking sense. <sighs> Do you watch? I know you and I have talked about this. Do you watch them? What the podcast? Do you watch them when they come out? Mm-mm. You don't watch them at all, or do you just kind of like skip to through? Them. I don't even listen. I listened to our last one. Yeah, because it was good conversation. It was good conversation. We were talking about the afterlife, reincarnation. How come you don't listen to them? Me, it's my voice. I can't say my fucking voice. That's your voice. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> 
same. When the same fucking thing. chick said I sounded like Steve Buscemi, I'm like, come on, you know. Well, I, that was just all. I put on That's, a really tough exterior, but I, you that, know, I, I'm a human that being. That was, you know, like that was kind of rough. Especially I'm going back and I'm YouTube and Steve and Buscemi, like, and I'm listening. And I'm ah, like, ah, she might be right. Like she's on to something. God damn with it. This shit. As long as I don't look like him. Yeah, yeah. You no. That was mean. I hope he doesn't nice hear guy. that. Sorry, nice Steve. Guy. You're, nice you know, guy. you had your time. You did him wrong. You did him wrong. Um, I brought you a banana today. Thank you. I needed one. And here's how I open them. Well, check this out. Camera right. work. Ready? Oh, shit. Ooh, a, little, uh, a little aggressive. Let me try that. A little aggressive. There you go. Much better. All right. Yeah, you just kind of grab it by the stem. That was kind of cool, though. I might do that next time I'm out at a uh, club or whatnot. Just, just grab, grab it by the stem. Out and there it is. And just grab it and fucking fling it. Um, But anyway, what's up with you guys? What's going on around town? Let's see. What's new? Hey, how about the weather, though? I know that's boring, but Jesus Christ, it feels like we went back to fucking January. I was gonna say, man, it's a little, uh, it's a little fucking bipolar. It's like, it's like I was feeling great, everything was great. Why would I throw a banana in my fucking mouth right in the middle of me talking? Hundred percent, but that's but what we do. It's like we were, everything was good. The daylight savings time hit. It was eighty degrees a couple. You were like happy. A week in a row. You're, I was doing great. Everything was perfect. You were and getting was, cocky and you were posting pictures outside uh-huh. on your patio shirtless. Yeah. And Mother now Nature said, oh, cool story, bro. It's like Watch January this. outside right now. It's not fucking terrible. The only thing <laughs> I don't like about it is I love the daylight savings time. I love that it's staying yeah, yeah. lighter later. Yeah, lighter later. But it's the, I move all my shit downstairs, like all my winter shit. I'll move it downstairs and make fucking room for the summer shit. And I do it a little prematurely. Like the second we get one nice day, I'm like, all right, this it's is on. the rest of the it's world. It. Yeah, this is life. <laughs> this the is rest good of the till time. Christmas. And then this shit happens, and I'm downstairs fucking going through our, you know, I'm in our mm-hmm. utility room looking for stuff. This is what I found, so whatever. I fucking hate it. Yeah, it's worse. At least it's light out later. Light out later. It is. Now, but are you happier? No, I'm not. You need, you no. need the warm weather. I need the warm right. weather. I'm, I am I was thinking that, like, all week. i just kind of been, I've been taking naps in the middle of the day. Ugh, yuck. Because I'm just fucking drained. Yeah. I don't have it. I don't have it. I need the... I think we're gonna go to Florida next week. Do you do the uh, one of these days? You're gonna invite us. I keep telling Ashley and Brian, but they're coming up. We got that golf yeah. tournament in what two weeks? April. 19th. My April is fucked, man. April I got so much shit in April. It's not even funny. April nineteenth, Bear Creek. There it is. Yeah. But anyway, guys. All right. So, thanks for letting us ramble for fucking what nine minutes? Eight, eight minutes. minutes. Eight minutes. They just well, let us nine. ramble. I mean, how many people just fucking clicked off? Who knows? But today I'd like to, so oh, I couldn't get your dog. I couldn't get Miranda on today, but Miranda um, Miranda Smith is a UFO photographer. If I'm if I'm how does that, one get into that? That's what I'm saying. You just stand around and just yeah. fucking got your fingers crossed and, and just, goes across like, <laughs> just you're just looking out yeah, at the fucking no moon shit. all day. I mean, I, or evening, nighttime mostly probably. I, I got don't excited know. when I saw that. I'm yeah. really kind of upset that I, she's not here right I now. I think I'm sure we'll be able to get her for next week. Uh, she, was, she ghosted she was, you though, didn't she? No, she. I don't think she read my message, which could be the same. As How do ghosting. you reach out to somebody going, "Hey, I watch UFOs for a living. <laughs> Let's, I, you know, I'll be on your podcast." Both of us are like, "Fuck yeah, that's what we want." That was great. And then just, you know, out to lunch. And then yeah, so out to lunch, completely out to lunch yeah. too. Like yeah, a hundred percent. We'll see. We'll see. We'll get her on. I'm sure she'll come on. She's she's apparently had her shit published in like magazines and lad bible and all that stuff. Yeah, I'm so, really curious uh, how how do you get into that? Do you just see something and then from there you're like, "Okay, I know it's abundant." How the fuck I do you know to, it's a well, I just cuz you I mean, what makes it a UFO? The fact that you don't know what it is? The amount of mushrooms that you eat, there I'm you assuming. There you go. I don't know. I would have to assume that it's going to be God damn it, my phone will not shut up. I That's think it's got to be something along the lines of you're in the right place. You see something. It doesn't matter if it's, you know, like we all know what an aircraft looks like. We all know what an airplane looks like or mm-hmm. even a fucking drone or something like that. But if you've seen like the footage and that's what sucks about today is you can get like a nine year old kid and make a video that looks real as fuck. I know, right? That it's a UFO fucking or something apps. like that. A hundred percent, you know? So yeah. Yeah, but I mean, if she's been on Discovery Channel or stuff like that, it's got to be validated, I would think, right? I mean, I'd imagine so. Uh, I don't know. I mean, maybe we dress up, one of us dress up like Bigfoot, send it in. If they fall for it, going, (laughs) eh, they don't have a fucking screening process. Yeah. 
They're yeah, lazy. which could be true. Which could be true. I don't know. What do you, I mean, have you ever seen any UFOs yourself? I've never seen anything that even remotely. You've been on the mushrooms things. in the woods lately too, so you haven't seen anything. Hundred percent, no. no. Saw some demons last weekend. Did you really uh, want to hear about that story? No, it wasn't that. But it's like you you sit down, you're laying down, you're looking at trees. I'll show you some pictures. And you know that scene in uh, Devil's Advocate, the end. Okay, let's, giant... let's 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 pre preamble this real quick. So this is you doing what last weekend? You're uh, in the woods. Yes, yes. Had some psil- psilocybin, some mushrooms. mushroom trip okay. in the woods where you just camp out. Yeah, you just camp out. You go, you walk around. <laughs> there was three of us. You're looking at the stars, and and then you know you sit down and you kind of and and that's the biggest thing. I think people think, oh, I'm going to see like purple dragons and stuff like that. It's nothing like that, but it's the visuals. And what you're looking at, all of a sudden, it kind of starts, like, morphing a little bit. So the painting in uh, uh, Devil's Advocate, you know what I'm talking about at the end in Pacino's office? Yeah. It's that giant, and it kind of starts moving a little bit, and you see faces out of it. Had a little uh, bit of that going on. But even during, even that, I'm cognitive enough to know, okay, I'm just kind of seeing this right now. It's not really a thing. And I thought about it, and I brought you up, actually. <laughs> Somebody there, I'm not going to name drop, but they know you as well. And I'm like, yeah, if he saw this right now, he'd be having a, he'd be fucking flaking out. I guarantee you would. So, but I still think you would have a good time doing. So I would, I would have went the wrong way with it. I would Maybe went. if you're able to go, I've got one foot in, one foot out of like reality, and you know how to differentiate what you're looking at, and you know that you're safe. You know, it's not that, it's it's not a big deal. So, what are you looking at? A tree? Uh, or what was you. going on? I'll show you. Fill the uh, fill the air up with some uh, conversation. Conversation. So, uh, my, good chance, a good time to plug premium cabinets. There you go, John, John Morgan with premium cabinets. Uh, holler at them if you'd like to get any cabinetry work done. Yeah, I any think, type of kitchen remodeling. I think I called those demonic cauliflower ears. Uh, fuck them. These are these are scary. Even when you're just fucking right. <laughs> you don't even have to be on mushrooms. Or but. pretty amazing at the same time, but. Eh, they get the. I'll I'll post it on the website. Bunch of fucking trees. Yeah, they get the they um, get the gist. But yeah, that's uh. Oh man, sorry, I just got an email. This fucking school. Uh oh. Shout out to uh, what's the name of the school? Don't say it. North Point Middle. Don't say it. Up oh, there, you go. Fuck. Want just... to make you aware that we were just alerted of a threat made by a North Point High School student regarding bringing a gun to the high school. Yeah, Breaking da, 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 news. Da, 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 da. Soft lockdown. Blah, 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 blah. What the fuck is wrong with these kids? Meaning what? He called in and said, hey. I guess he decided to warn people in advance. Hey, I'm just yeah. letting you know. That's fucking scary, though. Like, well, what, yeah. what do you do in that scenario? I'm fucking, they said soft lockdown. I don't do you know rush out and get your kid, or do you stay? I don't think you can. You remain doing the podcast thing, or? No, it was. <laughs> I know, I know. They, I'm g- fucking <laughs> they give you the update. Yeah. They Keep give you the update. It's after. It already went. Yeah, they say it's ah, handled. Gotcha. It's yeah. not real. They world. don't want a bunch it's of parents swarming the fucking place. I guess right. I don't know. I don't know. It's not real time. But uh, the the trees, yeah. So I, if I saw some shit like that and I started thinking demons, I'd probably fucking trip. You you right don't the... you you would be able to maintain. You're. Do yeah. you think you're ever going to try it? You talk yeah, about it. Yeah, I do. The time. I don't think I'm gonna do seven grams like you that you claim you do. Which I I still. You see people on the fucking comments. Boy, were like, they fucking they were like, jumped on. They're like me, this didn't guy's they? a lion. But suck. but I said <laughs> they, I think that's what it was. That's what the bag was. Well, I the bag much says ate. it. You showed me the bag. The bag 100, says a hundred percent. I mean, so but I don't that think one guy in Florida that's like, no, this is what seven he took grams a picture. Like. And I'm like, dude, no, that's not. That's seven pounds. That guy had like a, it was like a dish of pasta. I mean, that was literally that was a lot. That was a whole plate of rigatoni. Yeah. But it's yeah. like I'm, I'm not like trying to make numbers up to do a subtle. Flex well, you need here. people like, to know how cool you are. You know? Is that what it is? The yeah. more I I that's, think you get less cool if you say you can do more because then it sounds like you do it all the time. I just have oh. a very, very high tolerance. Which is also really cool. Yes, it is. Yeah, so that's right. really you cool. See how I did that, right? Yeah, there? yeah. You just kind of circled around, perfect. Deflected a little. We need to get Tommy, uh, Tommy Kane out in the woods and uh, see Who? what he's all about. Oh, Tommy, Tommy Crane, Crane, Kane, <laughs> Crane, whatever his name is. Hey, I wouldn't want to challenge that guy too much to a, a duel anyway, off. So it was a good time. It was fun. I went out there. You know, you kind of have a criteria laid out. What I mm-hmm. want to think about. It's always when you have multiple people, though, you're talking the entire time. So I've never really had that. 
where I just kind of like go off on my own and sit down and just think about you life and, your and philosophize and shit like that. I've not done that so yet. So this is a group of you guys just fucking rambling like us. Just walking around rambling. I took about maybe an hour worth of video. I'll play you some. I do got to see some of the shit I do we got to see that. Were you, do you guys like go out there? You bring some beers with you too? Or you just... Yeah, little pizzas bit, or a little bit of drink. Oh mushrooms? yeah, yeah. Uh, beer, tequila, pizzas, food, snacks, some good music. That you know, like, that sounds like an okay time. That's a, it's a it's a really good time. You would enjoy it. You sleep in a tent. Uh, I slept in a cat. Well, I fell asleep outside. We all fell asleep outside. We had two tents set up. One was big. You could fit five people in it. I went to that. The guy sleeping in it sounded like a fucking bear was having a heart attack in there. It was so goddamn loud. <laughs> didn't need that. Yeah. So the place that we stay, there's like a cabin. So I just went and crashed into the cabin. Hmm. And I will say this, that it's probably, I don't know, 50 yards away. It took me every bit of a half hour to get there. <laughs> you walk in, you see a pond, you sit there and you admire that for a little bit. Then so you, you see a tree you munch and these it's in, like you munching these on the car there on the car right there. No, 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 no. Oh. We'll get there, set up camp, and then kind of go. All right, we ready to you do this? You put them in like a sandwich or something? No, just out of the just yeah, like Pringle Pringle style. Fucking disgusting. No, it doesn't taste bad at all. Oh, the micro doses that I that are fucking really they're Ugh. in a pill. They're horrible. What did you do? Crack they, they them crack open it. and sometimes snort it like no, Jesus. No, no. It's a pill. But, it's yeah, an Advil. So, sometimes if you take just the, you know, the, the dust uh-huh. of it and just kind of. Yeah, that's not the way to do it. That's why they put them in those convenient little It's just pills. all I'm saying. All I'm saying is, yes, I I feel like they probably taste terrible. Right. If no, you didn't. They, they weren't they weren't bad. It, well, but again, I, I think your thing is if you go with the right mindset, I think you would absolutely love them. Well, I really do. Well, I don't know. I got this fucked up, stupid brain. It's what you think weed should do. Because, again, I'm not a big fan of pot You went for all. a while. Before I go to bed, if I do it before I go to bed, I feel very refreshed when I wake up. I just feel like I sleep you a sleep lot more. Well. I sleep well anyway, but I toss and turn a lot. When I would do that, I would pretty much lay in the same spot the entire time, which I think your, what is it, your your REM sleep or whatever. Rapid eye like, movement. Yes, that. I had that going, so... But uh, but yeah, I haven't I haven't really fucked with that that much lately. I'm not I'm not a big fan of it anymore. And the mushroom thing is like maybe once every I don't know sixty or ninety days. Because even though it doesn't do anything to you, I think if you did it like on a weekly basis, at some point your wiring's gonna be a little you might disconnected. Be. Yeah. <laughs> so once per quarter. Yeah. Sounds exactly. Like a, sounds yeah. like yeah. Four good four, four good, good ones good. a year, four and and we're good, and we're good. Yeah. And I heard that after you're done with those, like. You have the mushroom hangover, but it's the opposite of a hangover. You feel amazing. Yeah. The next day, I, I think I got three hours of sleep, and I woke up fucking was knocking out. Immediately went to Costco. I'm fucking meal prepping. I'm blowing leaves, you know, off the deck. Just I ready. Mean, oh, dude, just, yeah. See, that's good. What was the weather like Saturday? Uh, It was – it got cold. It was nice when we got there. And then when I woke up, because we're all, like, fell asleep outside, listening to uh, – I'll pull him up. He's actually pretty funny. We were listening to this comedian, but I woke up and it was like five thirty, and they had left me there, which is Where'd pretty they go? fucked up. To their tents. Oh, so they left you sitting out? Just left me out there like a like a fucking like a wounded soldier. Didn't man. even cover you up. Or yeah, nothing. exactly. And I fucking wake up and it's that shitty sleep where I'm like laying on my shoulder and I'm in the ground and I feel like I was in a car accident. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. I get up and I'm like, and I'm again walking to a tent, and I just hear one of the guys just snoring like a fucking bear, and I'm like, yeah, there's just no left way I'm you there. Do that. Just left me there. Just it, laying on the grass. In the middle I, of that's the, the worst door. thing about them. It's every man for themselves. After that, you're you're on your own journey, you know. And if my journey is <laughs> I'm sleeping outside, that's where they left me. Yeah, <sighs> you're fucking wild. So anyway, you're, you're wild, man. Do yeah. what I do what I can. Yeah, yeah. But back to the UFOs and the aliens. You didn't see nothing crazy up there, huh? No, you don't look up to the stars and, I was and wonder. Looking, yeah, I was looking for like it, too. Like fucking uh, Tommy Lee Jones and uh, Men in Black 2 where he stares up at the stars all the time. No, but I do out think that everybody finds themselves, when you're doing that, when you're sitting there and you're looking up at the stars and all that, you wonder, you know, I wonder if anybody's looking back at us or whatnot. But you always think this would be a cool experience if something did happen, because I think we're on the same page mm -hmm. that we do believe that there is something else out there. Right. Oh, my God. I and mean, I think most humans are egotistical to the point. I know I certainly am to where you're like, I'm special. So they would come down and visit me for whatever reason. <laughs> and you're sitting there and it's like, how fucking cool would that be if this happened right now? Like they just got to meet you. Yeah, a hundred percent. Nobody like, else. God damn it. There Billions he is out in the wild. 
seven to eight billion people on earth at any given time for the past billion years fuck that elon musk that like, guy's like a yeah. chat gpt we want to sit down with i want to go meet tim yeah exactly see how his tent camping we talked about this tell me what your thoughts are and i may have asked you this before you've got two options you get abducted by aliens but there's some sort of caveat that you can't say anything or they kill your family whatever you know you got to go to the grave with this or you just you're you're just going on like this as we are right now. You think there's something out there, but you don't have anything to verify it. Which one are you taking? So either no, but you can't tell anybody, or don't. Correct. So you see them. You get <laughs> but abducted. I would know. I would know what's going on. Right? You would, I would know, know what's going on. I get to right. remain. That, so this is almost like a matrix fucking question. Kind of red pill kinda, or blue pill. Kind of kind of true. It's, the, yeah. it's almost the exact same. So what scenario. the red pill is. You know the truth, I'm Not assuming? Something like that. All right. So do you go red pill? Yeah, or absolutely. Been, I, think I would great. too. Yeah. I absolutely I would. Think, yeah, yeah. I don't need to tell anybody. Because it's confirming what you already know. But mm-hmm. my thing would be this. We're out. We're drinking. We're fi- you, hey, man, I, I've got something I need to tell you. And whatever. then my whole family. Yeah, fucking, and then you yeah. see, yeah, you whisper it to me. They're not going to hear this. And they hear yeah, it. You show up and fucking everybody's knocked yeah. out. Yeah, yeah. No, I could, keep a, I, I could keep a secret. That would be tough, though. That That's a tough really one. Tough. That's a tough one. And yeah. then how do you go on the rest of your life knowing that you had this happen to you? Do you just seek out other people that are claiming the same thing and go, hey, man, I'm not saying this happened like to me, fucking, but talk to me. I'll like, listen uh, to you. Like Woody Harrelson in uh, 2012. You see that movie where he's living in the – he lives in the fucking RV at Yosemite. You ever seen that movie, no. 2012? Uh-uh. How old is it? 2012. I'm texting the uh, texting the wife right now. We need to watch. It's worth. You watching. haven't seen that no. with fucking. Uh, Stop yelling at me. What's that guy's name? The fucking guy. You know the guy. Hey guy. <sighs> he played in. He Tommy played in Crane. Better off dead. Twenty. I I don't know that. John hopefully. something. Right. Fucking eighties movies when you were like in your thirties. John Cusack. Yeah. Okay. There you go. There you go. Twenty twelve. She's gonna be like, what? You the never fuck seen is that? that? No, for the fifteenth time, I've never seen it. Oh, you're gonna love. Never that. even heard of it. You're gonna love that. Movie. All right. Well, we'll it's check about it out. you know how they were talking about the the end of the world and was gonna happen in 2012, the Mayan calendar shit. Oh yeah, Remember yeah, that? yeah. So this is theoretically if it did happen and what and what it. Uh, Dude, it's I'm, that's great when movie. you know you're old. Is when you I've got I think I've got three different end of the worlds. I think I got the you know Russian like when I was growing up, you got Russia and U.S. going at it with the nukes and all that. Then you got that was two, when you were growing the Cuban Missile Crisis. Yeah, no, 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 no. That's Cuban Missile Crisis, not Russian Missile. Crisis. That was the Russians. But, they put it in Cuba. Well, they whatever pointed the, it right at us. Whatever the case may be, there was some shit going on between the U.S. and Russia when I was growing up, and I was a little concerned. <laughs> Learned about it, you know, <laughs> old five year old Timmy, you know, Cold War. So, uh, and then 2000, remember Y2K. all that, the Y2K, Y2K. thing in 2012. Yeah. So, I'm to the yeah. point to where I forget about it, you know, wake me up when it's an actual, when the nuke is in the air, wake me up. Then you'll be ready. Then to I'll, yeah, then I'll say it's my good device. to stay prepared. It is, it is. So, like April 8th is that uh, solar eclipse. <sighs> we're having, yeah. a, we're having a, remember, remember years ago, 2017, we had that eclipse that I was, did. uh, that was wild. Were you outside so now for that? I'm texting her. What is it? April eighth. Yeah. <laughs> Twenty twelve. April eighth. Gonna... <laughs> She's like, what the fuck? You remember that fucking 2017 though, when it was like dark outside, in the middle uh, of the day for I a minute. I do remember that. That was wild. I had just moved into my house <laughs> and I saw like this neighbor that lives at the top of the street, and she insisted on coming down. It's starting in like five minutes. Yeah. She comes down, introduces herself. She's fucking yapping. I'm like, yeah, I'm going to get inside and go stand on my deck and watch the thing. She's like, oh, yeah, you don't want to do that. You know, they're <laughs> they're going to – she got all fucking conspiracy theory on me That's or whatnot. Right. Yeah. And it's like, okay, it's been 25 fucking minutes. You're batshit crazy. I'm, I'm going to leave now. So so you watched it? Uh, a little bit. What was her it, conspiracy? Yeah. I forget. I don't know. The so that's the government was orchestrating. The that's whole why fucking eclipse. So I fucking people are sharing this goofy shit on TikTok about something going to happen on April 8th where all our communications are going to go down for two weeks because of this or something Shut like up. that. Where do they come up? With I don't know, but I love it. I and then what great. happens if that does happen? I would like a little chaos. Like I'm just that. saying what would I mean? Well, I wouldn't be terrible. I would do old school shit. I would go buy a map. Now I yeah. can, you know what I mean. I'll well, I mean, you go can't, to the library. You to probably, shit up. you probably can't get gas. I mean, electronics are down, shit like that. Like you probably can't. Ah, there you, you go. You can't. There's no electricity. Andrea just bought a hybrid, so what's we that? Would be good. Oh, you're good. A hybrid vehicle. Yeah. You could go 200 miles in any direction. There we go. I'll just for two fucking weeks. flex while yeah. everybody's walking. I'll just drive by being. And, and then if you want to charge your battery, 
Well, you got gas. That's a gas slash. I'm always going to be gas. I'll never do a, a, no, that's electric, a fully electric car. Very gay. I'm not shitting on him, but it's just not, not a fucking manly. It, it just feels, yeah, it feels like there's something wrong with that. I just can't imagine know? waking up. I forgot to plug my car in. I'm metro enough. I, I own enough you're fucking close. colognes you're and there. tight jeans and yeah. all that. The last thing I need is an electric car. You're there. Yeah. You're already questioning you're, me. I know that. And I don't blame you. I would too. But You're close. Especially with that Steve Buscemi voice. Oh, man, that's the worst, isn't it? Oh, fuck. Who says that? What's your <laughs> wife doing? She tripping out over your What happened what April 8th, 2012? <laughs> Just say. I'll tell you later. Leave honey. it. Leave it a fucking. She does. Question she it. doesn't listen either. She listened. Yeah. All right. What? I'll fucking tell you off air. I. I guess I said something. I was like flipping through it, and it caught a snippet of me talking about something with her, and she's like, "I can't believe you would fucking say that on the podcast." Like, yeah, I'll tell you later. I we didn't say, say nothing bad about her. Nah, it was something. I no, it wasn't bad at all. But she took offense to it, and. You know how they do this? You bring it up. You bring it up in a small like that, yeah. and she's like, "Oh, you say I do this all the time." Mm. Literally, I said you have done it once. Yeah. You know, kind of take it and just really run with exactly. it. Exactly. Really, yeah. really. So that's my identity now. That's all I do. That's it's you, like that's easy. You, that's who you easy. Are. That's who you are. Everything's a death penalty. Are we ever going to have them on air? We ought to have them on air and just have them. They sit would back tear and us talk apart. About it. it would be fucking great. I'd I like it. it. I would love it. I mean, see if see if they can do it. I will absolutely. I think that's a great idea. Yeah, we should do it uh, not next week, but hopefully we get UFO check on. Yeah, and then maybe do it after that. But your your wife is she tears you up, and it's oh, great. She's a hater, and Cassie thinks it's the yeah, funniest fucking, she's a thing, a thing fucking in the world. Hater, but I I br- bring it on. I don't give a oh, shit. It's great. Yeah. I think it's a, it's it's wonderful. It's very uh, it's very therapeutic. to Cassie hear. hate on you as much as Andrea hates on me. No, I don't think she would. Really? I don't think so. To your face. Oh, for sure. Totally yeah, behind different. your back totally she does. Yeah, yeah, yeah totally for sure. Story. Shout out to Cassie. Yep. But what would you do if, if, if like, April 8th, all of a sudden, the sun blocks out the fucking moon, and, or the whatever the hell the other way, or however it goes, and then you have no electricity, no cell phone service, Wild West. It's fucking, it's medieval times for two weeks. The no electricity is big, because that's completely separate than no communication or anything like no that. No communication. Now you're right. talking... Yeah. You really can't cook. You really can't. Why can't you cook? Get yourself a charcoal well, grill. Well, I guess you could. God, you big yeah, pussy. But Get yourself it, a charcoal yeah, grill. Yeah, it's kind of a pain in the ass, but I'm not making uh, I'm not making any coffee because I can't boil water. Well, I guess I could boil water. Yeah. Um, you would. Your first day, you're dead. And you know what, too? Like, two days into it, I guarantee you, I'm. well, I wouldn't get calls from realtors, but I would get handwritten letters from realtors <laughs> going, hey, is the appraisal back in yet? Yeah. Is this here yeah. yet? Or it's whatnot. Just, I think it would be fun. I think it would be an interesting reset, and I'm curious to see how people would be able to adapt I think it'd be on that. Mass hysteria. I think it would be fucking. I will tell insane. you one thing. I would be in a fucking tent out in the middle of nowhere because you know what's going to happen if that shit if if that went down. Oh, we're getting fucking. It's going to be like the purge. Yeah, you're going to have people wanting to break into your house. Oh, and, dude. I mean, look at know. look at fucking Facebook went down for like an hour and a half two weeks ago. I thought it was just me. Oh, I, everybody did. Yeah, I, I, did I was getting so fucking pissed. Yeah. And then when I saw everybody else, I'm kind of making fun of them, going, "Jesus Christ!" It was down for an hour and a half, and I'm like, <laughs> "Here I am, fucking seeing all these fucking bomb threats," and I'm calling into Zuckerberg, going, yeah. "Hey, man, you need to get my shit. I got a picture that I got to post right now." You know, immediately. Yeah. Yeah. So I think people would go fucking nuts, looting, rioting. I mean, probably if it was even a day without electricity across, and a couple hours. And I, they say it would shut down. It would fuck a lot of shit up. Like that eastern grid. It would fuck everything up. I mean, they say yeah. if it went down for even like five minutes, it would fuck up a lot of what shit. What is the eastern grid? That's like the, the, the electricity for like the whole country, I think, is over there on a— uh, On one grid? Yeah, but it's <laughs> something like that. We ought to spread that out a little <laughs> bit. Yeah, you got to look it up. I'm, Some, I'm telling you, look that up. Somebody takes it's, that out. God damn it, Johnson! We <laughs> told you, fucking. That's what I'm saying. So I don't know. I think it would be interesting to see. I think it'd be a, a good little reset too. It would be good, and all the gun lovers would be. This is why I, I told you. Yeah, this is I what told I've been you. waiting for. They would love it. I was, yeah. Oh, the preppers. I fucking, think I would love it too. I be just good. to sit back and see how everybody reacts. Yep. 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 Worldwide, not just not just here. It'd be a worldwide thing, is what they're saying. So anyway, if you're if you're listening to this and you uh you care to get some canned goods before April eighth, do that. 
And I just saved how many lives? Might not be a bad idea. How many lives actually. I just saved? You know what though? But I might gamble a little bit and just go the complete opposite. <laughs> Sell all your run, goods. Run the fucking house bare and just, just go. Just what do you got? See, let's see what it's like. What do you got? Fucking maybe catch a rabbit outside. Bring then, it to my house so I can cook it for you. And then I guess ride my bike over to your house, going, "Hey man, my bad, you were right. Can well, I have you some got, fucking corn? Can, just keep, yeah. You got to, you got to deplete the the car of its battery if you're gonna go the other way. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. That's got to be so fucking weird. Just like all those people that are strictly electric cars. Yeah, I I, I had a dude. I was at Scott Odie's fucking uh, gender reveal party. Okay, right. And this. Dude, when did those become a thing? Out of curiosity. Um, I don't know. Like, when did that become popular? I don't know. This one yeah. was fucking. They had an airplane Jesus drop Christ. out. Like an, air, an airplane flew over and dropped out. They had a fucking just a bunch of dudes fall out. It's a boy. Yeah. <laughs> no parachute. Yeah, They're Jesus splattered. No, I don't know what they did. This guy like fucking shot out a whole bunch of blue. Or no, it was a girl. So pink. Right. anyway, okay. Anyway, but anyway, yeah, yeah. anyway, I'm at Scott Odie's fucking gender reveal party, and I'm talking with this dude having a beer. I don't know who he is. Never met him. Before. Right. And he's charging his phone, and he's like, I can't leave yet. I got to get my phone's got to get some battery in it. And I'm like, what do you just charge it in the car? Right. He's like, if I do, the battery will die on the car faster, and I don't have enough to get, I don't have enough battery as it is cool to, get Tesla, to, the, bro. to get to the gas station, right, right. The, the one gas station in town that's like 30 miles away, or the gas station, the right. fucking charging station. Right. So he's like, I can't even like turn the air conditioner on because it'll drain my battery more. Before I can get to a charging what station. Is, and what is the draw with one of these? That <laughs> it's going to cost me less money to fill up on gas? <laughs> right. Or, you know. Meanwhile, you Nobody fucking, can hear me driving up behind them? Uh, yeah, I guess. I don't know. Meanwhile, you uh, you got to worry about charging your battery all the time. Yeah. Well, she's got to charge hers. And hers is a hybrid. But she's got to charge it every night. And I think it only gets like 40 miles to a charge or something like that. Or 50 <laughs> miles. It's just insane. like, what the fuck? You know, That's like. Insane. But she, so what she's got, she could fill up with gas though, right? Yeah, it runs just, out of electricity and then the gas like <gasps> kicks in or whatnot. Which I asked her, how long is a tank of gas going to be good for? Because she'll charge it. She never drives like long distances. Yeah. So it's like, how long does a charge last? And she's like, ah, oh, forty or fifty miles. So it's like thirty for her to go to go to work and come <laughs> back or whatnot. And I'm like, how long is that gas going to fucking be in there? And she's like, it doesn't have an expiration date. And I'm like. I'm not going to look it up, but I challenge <laughs> okay, that notion. Okay. Like, I, right. that just doesn't sound right to me. I feel like gas probably has some sort of. You would think it would. That's but not at some point, wheelhouse. it's going to go that's bad. Not our, that's not in our fucking. No, not at all. Yeah. That's a good question. But we're not electric car guys, so we're never going to. We're Yeah. And again, I'm not shitting on any body that has an electric car. It just doesn't feel <laughs> fucking manly to me. You know, I like having that, that rev. You know, I like having a little fucking shake to my car when I rev it up. Yeah, yeah, and the no noise at all. Just yeah, it's fucking, a little fucking it's like, creepy. It's like driving a golf cart. Yeah, it's a little creepy. Yeah. I don't know. Full offense to everybody that, that loves them. Yeah, exactly. But uh, yeah, no, I got these fucking contacts out. I'm thinking about getting that LASIK. When? How long are you out when you do that? Is that a I have no in idea. and out? I'm one terrified. Day kind of thing? I'm terrified to even think about going and get it done. Laser beams, fucking. I mean, it, maybe if they did like one eye, do they do one eye at a time? You know what they do? So I at least still have a good eye if they Somebody, fuck it up. Somebody, this is so fucking weird. It's like the second LASIK conversation I've had in the last week. It's something like they cut your retina and they pull it back and they, they like do, take a fucking layer off. Yeah. So that's not, can you imagine being the first person to do that? <laughs> like, yeah, right. sign me yeah. up. Yeah. So you want, so you're going to do what now? Okay. Yeah. You seem like with you a, got a steady With hand. a laser. Yeah. Let's do this. Let's <laughs> hope for the best. People, people that get it done, they're like, dude, I wish I, I wish I would have done this decades ago. I think I needed to. I think you I don't, need some you just sort free, of. You're free balling. Right? I you free got, ball it. I raw dog nothing. it. Yeah, no, I raw dog it. What do you got on your head right there, though? Those are just some goofy sunglasses? Glasses? I don't know if goofy's. Oh, yeah. no. Yeah. yeah. Those are manly, aren't they? Yeah. I put these on yeah. after shitting on electric cars. <laughs> people are like, hey, fucking. They're like, this guy? Jared Leto. Nice glasses. <laughs> I don't know why I brought him into it, but anyway. <laughs> But no, how much? Uh, what does that cost to get LASIK? I don't. It can't be any more than the fucking contacts I, I buy. Three hundred dollars every fucking two months. If for it's contacts. less than five grand, I'll go do it with you. You won't. I swear to God, I'll do it. I need it. You're gonna right now having no corrective lenses, no anything. You're just like, yeah, I'll get LASIK. When I you. put my glasses on, I 100% see probably twice as clear as I do without them. I just don't like wearing glasses. 
you want to want to get a go on LASIK date with me? We'll we'll do a little LASIK. Party. We'll, we'll go get, we'll get our consultation. You first. know what we do? We get three thousand likes on this podcast <laughs> on this episode, okay. and we say, "Hey, look, you get us the LASIK, give it to us. We'll shout your fucking. We'll give you a shout out on the air. Give us the LASIK for give free. Give us a LASIK, <laughs> and we will be you'll be our sponsor. Give us give us four eyeballs worth of LASIK. I like it. For uh, I like it. Buy one, get one free on the eyeballs. Because you know? I guarantee you that if we shouted them out, you would have people going and getting, yeah, man, I want to get fucking laser beam. Like these laser guys. beam they seemed very happy. They were. Yeah. We'll give them a great review. I mean, exactly. I just, it's, it scares me. Can you imagine being blind? Like, no. fucking close your eyes and that's your life? It, that's terrifying. I, like, I never want to say, like, if something <laughs> happened to me, this is what I would do because you're essentially shitting on the people that it's actually happened. I cannot imagine being blind no. at all. That would be that would be tough. I mean, just and then fuck. Remember Helen, Helen Keller? That poor. Broad. I don't remember her. No. Well, I've let me tell you her. about her. Yeah. Good lord, she uh, just close your eyes, close your ears. What the fuck? You're trapped. Yeah, I know, man. And That's you can't tough. talk. That's tough. I know. Oh, the not talk. You got to lose one. Vision, hearing, or being able to talk. Which all one three she loses. Oh, I would I would love to lose my uh hearing. I'd I'd actually opt to lose my hearing if I could, just voluntarily. I as think we, you're as halfway I think you're halfway there. As it sits. Yeah. It's a lot of shit I say to you and you're <laughs> like like you fucking coming at me this morning going I'm, I'm What'd you say? I'm I'm scared about your mental well being. Dude, you asked I me. Know. You asked, I think there was three. That was yesterday that I asked you. What do you expect me to remember? If you just even looked at the screen, it says it. I did. I scrolled up. <laughs> you don't say what time. I do. You say you do. Yeah. That one might have got deleted. Then I, I don't know. <laughs> what are you I deleting know. it for? I don't know. <laughs> Never know what you're gonna say. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Put... <laughs> Saw that. <laughs> 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 I hope to God there's people out there like you and me that make fun of me oh, as much as we they, make fun absolutely. of that guy and other That's people. That's why it's that we okay make fun of because us they, the best. there are so many people that are, I mean, probably listening right now. Going, I would Fuck, be so flattered. That guy. Yeah, I would be so flattered. Oh, completely. If I see somebody talking shit about me online, I'm like, let's have it. They, let's yeah, let's go. A, I'll eat it up. There's a lot to a lot to hate about us. Yeah. You know? Yes. And they, and and we we all and I appreciate a good a we, good hating on. Yeah, we accept it. I've gotten really good at that over the years. I've gotten really good at, at taking that. Have hate. you ever felt threatened? Like, has anybody remember ever remember that fucking guy at Oktoberfest? Oh yeah, the guy after at the Oktoberfest. End of the bar, the yeah. guy at the end of the bar. Yeah. Fucking Christ! Never seen this guy in my life. Other than that, though, have you ever felt like okay, this might be unsafe? This fucking lunatic and um, I got fucking jumped at Millwoods. Remember? What do you mean jump? Well, we pulled up and they fucking last year we pulled up and a uh, dude was I got video of it fucking beating the shit out of his wife. So we pull up and um, that I had nothing up. to do with you though. No, that I was walked up. We were just timing. driving there. I yeah. walk up and I'm like, what the fuck? And next thing they recognize me and call right. me out. Guy got really close to my face, so I hit him as hard as I could, and then all the homies. <laughs> no shit. No, I didn't know about this. Yeah. You yeah. punched him. Well, yeah, he Fuck got yeah, really give it up, he got, baby. He got really close Fuck to me, yeah. And he was like, "You're Brandon, Mac. I know you," and got real fucking close, right? I mean, I mean he was gonna hit me. First. I love the fact that he wanted it. He probably wanted an autograph, and you fucking headbutt no. the guy. <laughs> yeah, no, this guy was gonna. This, dick. this guy wanted to eat me alive, and I never even heard of him. That came out weird. Yes, yeah. an- anally. Yeah, anally. Fuck, but yeah, um, that was other than that. No, not really. I just, yeah, because I just lot, ask because you see people getting a little hostile on there sometime, and I'm like, I wonder a lot if anybody's of people, ever come up to him in public. No, and, that's the fucking people on the internet. They they they're so the safe. The warriors, so safe. The tough guys. Yeah, very safe on in the cyberspace world. Um, I had a guy fucking yesterday on my post because we got a, I got a, a home under contract. Uh huh. Right, and it was like pretty good, well under, well over asking. Everything was great. So, you know, doing made, your job, made a little post about it, right. celebrating the fucking guy, the owners. And um, and he goes, yeah, it's great time for real estate right now, unless you're a seller. And I'm like, oh, I'm like, all right, dude. I said, I said, well, I, you know, I yeah. commented back. I said, well, we did pretty well. We got well over asking. So right. the seller's happy. Right. You know, and he's like, I'm not going to argue with you, bro. And I'm like, all right, well, you, I not to argue with you. And the guy just went on and on and on. I was fucking I had block him. I'm like, is that a fuck? Like, just. 
everybody's just on your personal page yeah. or on the beer page on the regular page Jesus people are just Christ. unnecessarily just fucking always gotta have some issue and you just know they're sitting there fucking drunk. just miserable just, that's why your kids haven't spoken to you yeah. in two weeks your wife's fucking somebody else it's because you <laughs> suck at life right and you gotta wonder like do you go do these people go back in the morning and see the comments that they made while they were drunk and not go, maybe I should stop or slow down. At all. Or get off the internet. They double down. Or anything. Yeah, they they double down. Harder. Ugh. That's exhausting. Yeah. That's, that's exhausting. What do you think of this new NAR thing? Oh, I ain't worried about that. Okay. So dumb. What a dumb fucking. So to anybody listening, National Association of Realtors, um, goofballs, settled a fucking random ambulance chaser fucking lawsuit like 418 million or something like <laughs> yeah, that yeah but this yeah. lawsuit is fucking basically it's so full of misinformation the 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 CNN all the shit that they're saying about it is basically that we're not allowed to now offer compensation to the buyers agents in the MLS right Don't, okay but we're totally Totally free to offer to them on contracts. Totally offer to to uh, per, you can definitely still compensate the buyer's agents if the listing agent can. Right, but we're not allowed to in the MLS anymore, which I don't understand why the fuck. So my take on it is this came from a lawsuit. So now if I'm hearing that, I'm thinking okay, if I go directly to the seller's agent and say, hey, I'm just going to buy through you because I don't want to have to negotiate comp with my real estate, you know, with my buyer's agent yeah. or whatnot. I'm now putting myself in a position to where I'm trusting you, <laughs> Who the I, guy that is selling the property, right. that sole goal is to get this fucking thing sold. I get an inspection back and I'm looking at it going, hey, I can't make heads or tails of this. What should I do if I had my own representation yeah. slash if, attorney handling this for me? You're going to go, this needs to be fixed. That's okay. But you, the seller's agent, is going to go, ah, oh, yeah, fucking everybody's house is, has a bad roof. You it's know? basically it's, like your wife goes to divorce you, and you say, well, I'll just use your attorney. A hundred percent. And that's what I was saying. Like, yeah, it's the defense attorney and the— I mean, not to yeah. say, I mean, not to say that I'm that type of agent. I have fiduciary responsibilities right. to the seller, though, and also— I, you know, I'm ethical, but you, there's a lot of agents that ain't going to fucking play it. And you're not desperate for money. If you've got an agent that hasn't sold shit in God knows how long right. and they get a list. And there's a lot of agents like that that don't do 100%. shit. hundred percent. You deal with a lot of newbies too. Like All a lot of people. Time. And it's not even list. necessarily them being malicious. They just don't know what they the don't fuck know they're better. talking about. There's you not know? enough. There's not enough. Um, there's not enough education requirements. There's not enough continuing education. There's not enough testing. There's not enough anything. To be able to obtain a real estate license. Right, right. People get them all the time. And it's like, to be a lawyer, you have to go through fucking the bar. You got to go through years of school. why I didn't do it. I, well, yeah. Too much of a time Well, suck. you were being a vet. You were that a vet too. surgeon. Yep. But you, um, go. you go through all that. It's like, they're, no, no problem. But to handle somebody's largest financial asset, usually. Right. You can just get a license online in a couple weeks. Yeah. It's fucking crazy. It's a me. little terrifying. It's crazy to me. Yeah. But, um. And you don't need to have like minimum production or anything. Like I get fucking agents that'll write on our prop, like write on our listings that haven't that have maybe sold a home once in the past two years. Right. And it's like somebody's trusting that person to stay up to date with the contracts, stay up to date with the writers, stay up to date with the market, stay up to date with all this shit. Well, it's my aunt's neighbor. But I they, had yeah, but they haven't done anything in a fucking year. Like right. experience matters too. I mean, I don't know. It's just it's it's. I'm not shitting on those low producing agents or anything, but. At the same time, the, you can't always trust that they're staying up to date on their shit. Right, right. On their, on their, you know, I don't know. But, uh, but no, I, I just think that it's weird that you, um, you can still compensate them. So basically, how it works is the, how it usually works is the seller and the listing agent agree upon a commission. Right. There's no standard commission. But There's it's already no, listed out there right and, now, as it is today, 5% say is you go going with 5%, to be. Say you go with 5%. In the listing contract, it says exactly how much. You get 2.5, I get 2.5. How, right. how much we're going to pay, how much we're going to compensate the buyer's agent. Right. So it's like, you're paying me this much, 5%. But, fully just full disclosure, if somebody outside of me brings the buyer, I'm going to give we're them gonna half. I'm going to give them half of my commission. Right, right. And that's always been totally transparent, totally disclosed, fully upfront. Right. But now 
we're still able to give that commission to the buyer's agents. But you got to ask for split it. Them. Yeah, we're still they got to ask it, for it. But they got to jump through a bunch of hoops and either write it on a fucking. It's not upfront disclosed in the MLS. Right. Like it always has been, which I don't know who the so fuck So it's that one protects. more thing to take into consideration <laughs> when I'm going over my contracts. I'm selling my house, I got five contracts. I'm going to probably look and go, oh, this guy's only going to do it for 1%. Yeah. That's the one I'm going to go with because I'm going to put more money in my pocket. It's just, it just doesn't make any sense not to have it on the MLS. Yeah, yeah, I don't so get it. I, don't, I see more lawsuits happening as a result of this, not less. Yeah, well, I see a lot of buyers that are kind of – look at VA buyers. Like A lot of people are going to have to – a lot of buyers are going to have to – because of the fucking popcorn headlines and shit that say like, hey, sellers, you don't have to pay as much commission anymore, blah, blah, blah. Um, so they're going to, I mean, hopefully don't opt out of compensating a buyer's agent because you, right, know, you still right. want to do that. But if they do, then buyers are going to have to, <gasps> excuse me, buyers are going to have to, uh, you're welcome. Thank you. Buyers are going to have to uh, basically shop buyer's agents and, and compensate say, how them much are you going to charge me, me right, as the right, buyer? Right. And they're thinking, well, they can finance that maybe, you know, as a closing cost. To buy a closing cost. Right. Not and yet you know they can't. Exactly. Right. Maybe lending laws will change. You would know that, hopefully. If they do, it's not going to be anything quick. Right. It's it's going to, yeah. And I think if, it's going to be fucked for a while. <laughs> and also, those VA buyers that have those entitlements of zero down payment. Right. And weren't, you're not allowed to. There's a lot of shit. Yeah. It's going to be fucked. Yeah. So, I don't know. We're, we're ready for it just because... You know, we're staying up to date on the education and come up with processes and, and the best way to do things and staying ethical and all that shit. So, yeah, we'll be fine. But I've had agents reach out to me going, hey, explain this. I'm like, this isn't my shit. This is your shit. I don't fucking Why know. Why are they asking you? To explain? I don't know. <laughs> You're a lender. I'm fucking, I'm knowledgeable. <laughs> yeah. Uh, they the just aliens fucking, visited They just me. threw that shit at us, though. They just, out of nowhere one day, were like, we got an email from NAR. And, like, it was already, CNN picked it up, all this shit. And the association of realtors is like, here's what we settled on. Right. Here's what it's going to be. Which makes Proposed absolutely settlement. no sense whatsoever. Yeah. And NAR is a requirement, right? Like, is it necessary that you're a member of NAR? But no. Because you don't have access to Maris without NAR, right? You it's, have to be in it, NAR to get access to Maris? Or? Yeah. But it's also like, if you want to be considered a realtor, oh, not yeah, a real estate one agent, of those. Who knows? It's a fucking, it's all a bunch of goofy shit. But we'll be fine. Um, Anyway, yeah. How hello? Now that we got that out. Of now the way. that we got that out of the yeah. way, um, I need to do a I need to do an event or something soon. I think. Well, I talked with uh, Jason yesterday about the cave house. He said that's maybe about three weeks away or whatnot. So that's I'm a like, small little that's, gathering, right? Just once us that dudes, d- yeah, yeah, that'd be fun. Be yeah, that'll time. be a good time. And I then he's got the cruise in Lindbergh thing, April. I think it's twenty seventh. Fuck. Is that what it is? It's there's a two in front of it. I do know that. Just, so just go to Limburg, uh, April twentieth through yeah thirtieth. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Just <laughs> and, hang out for ten days. Yeah. You'll know it when yeah. it starts. Yeah. Did you drink that energy drink first? I drink them both. Yeah. That's five hundred milligrams yeah. of energy, dude. Um, I or got caffeine. a long. I got a long day ahead of me. That's a yeah, but that's fucking crazy. I got a. I got a lot. Like I said, man, I go hard in the paint. I you know. Telling, I think I gauge my my like caffeine intake based on how much you drink. I thought you said you were gonna. You gave up the energy drink so for like five days. Eight. Days. Eight days. Okay. Today is day nine. All right. But I but I I had this Celsius. That live doesn't fit. count. That's, I heard yeah. that the live fit Celsius was like the healthiest one. I could be wrong. And I know I'm gonna get a bunch of fucking. Bunch of health nuts that drop some fucking powder. I assure you it's powder. not the one with the uh, fucking Viking. 300 warrior mask on the front of it. God, yeah. Like, you had this you had this motherfucker, this rain orange dream skull, which is... And I will get a 300, coffee 300, 300 okay. milligrams. 300. Is that a lot? Oh, this one's... <laughs> and then you got this one, the Celsius Live Fit. What's a cup of coffee you have in it, like usually? I think, like, less than 100. Okay, so I just drank, what, five cups of coffee? Yeah, I'm good. I'm fine. <laughs> You know, like, I don't know why you keep. Uh, all right. I'm going to wrap it up. Unless you got anything. We done? I'm, I'm, I don't know. Throw yeah. it at me if you, if you do. I don't, I don't know. know. Wait, let's. Uh, Your phone's going nuts. My phone. Fuck them. Who cares? Yeah. It's, I'm, I'm getting sick. I'm, I'm kind of over it for a little while. You know? Maybe April 8th will be the day. Not not life, it, but just the fucking working thing, man. It just gets, it's getting to be like, what's, what's the right way to put it? 
I have fun doing my job. Don't get me wrong. Oh, yeah. Right? I, I thoroughly enjoy my job. But it's it, it feels like with this going on with NAR, with the housing market as it is right now, I don't know if you're getting this. Every deal, there is something attached to it. It doesn't – it's like you get through it. Everything's fine. Then you guys – you find out this guy's on like a terrorist watch list or something <laughs> like that. And it's like I can't make I had up, one. Man. I had one recently that we were – fucking closing we were going and there was a three hundred thousand dollar judgment perfect against the sellers i re- i remember this i remember that whatever I'm, happened with that I, they fucking nothing took it off the market <laughs> like bacon and bacon. don't you love here's the best part when you find some shit like that like you got somebody who's got like 50 grand worth of like back dude child support or something and you bring it up to them and they're just like Oh, yeah, that doesn't seem right. Like, okay, (laughs) you just showed me your cards right there. Because if that's me, I'm losing my goddamn mind. I'm I'm not sleeping if I had some shit like that. I had that. So when Vincent was born, we didn't have anything, like, set up through the courts. I was just writing a check for child support every month. You you know, like, what? yeah, whatever. I think it was like a 1000 a month, which was (laughs) fucking absurd. I know, right? So after two years, years, yeah, after two years of that, I'm like, you know what? I get them half the time. This isn't costing a thousand a month, so I backed it back down to six hundred. Of course, she takes me to court, and you know, judge not only takes it back up to the thousand, says, "You know what? You should be paying twelve hundred a month." And it's like, well, this really fucking worked out, didn't it? I go to refinance my house, and I've got like a twenty-five thousand dollar child support judgment on it, even though I provided them all the checks. So. For yeah. you fathers out there that are writing, you know, you're not court ordered child support. You got to write a check and you have to write on it child support. It has to say child support. And I call the gal. She goes, she goes, yeah. She's like, this is for, you know, the last two years or whatnot. And I go, no, I've been paying. She goes, well, send us the checks in. I sent the checks in. She goes, Thank God you wrote child support because you had you not, you, you would have been on the hook for this twenty five grand. And what I assure fuck? you, she wouldn't have gone. Oh yeah, no, that was for child support. <laughs> you, you know, I'll sign a waiver to take it off. She would have been so like, you gotta, you gotta "Give me my twenty five. I got to take, take it off. off." But yeah, only because I had it written on there that it was child support. It's a good thing you guys weren't getting along because you would have put something ridiculous. <laughs> like anytime we send Venmo to each other, yeah, it's like exactly. A fucking, it's like yeah, yeah, you know, anal tickling or you know, yeah, yeah. that would have looked fucked. That would have not looked good. Anyway, I think we're officially fucking out of shit to talk about. <laughs> yeah, it's been, dude. I'm telling you, I'm just down. I'm know. down. This weather, I really, I really got to move. It'll pick it back up this week. Ugh. Have you been working out? Have you been doing no, a cold four days? Tub and all that? Four days straight. I haven't either. I ain't man. done shit. I have been or such actually, a piece of Sunday, shit. Saturday, Friday. I haven't, I haven't been to the gym in a week. Yeah, I haven't, I haven't either. Uh, and everybody, everybody listening, will be like, "Well, that's gonna make you feel better. Go to the gym." Yeah, I don't fucking want to. It does, but it's so hard. Fucking it's when impossible. you've been out. Yeah, once you've been out of the groove for a little bit. Yeah. But so I'm like a week right now with not a not a single cold plunge, no sauna. Yeah, have we just let go? It's fucking over. You know, you got April eighth coming up. What's the fucking point? What's the point you know? of even Who getting? Who cares what my body fat is? Yeah. April eighth, we're yeah. all gonna die. I won't be able to share pictures on exactly. Instagram. Exactly. What's the know? point? Yeah, if my, I can't show body. everybody. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. How's that banana? Did you eat it? Uh, I will on the way out of here. Potassium. I need good to get some heart. more caffeine. I first. think that's the only way you can get potassium, really, besides pills. And the pills don't do. You have to take like a hundred to get as much as a banana. So you have to eat a banana to get the potassium. To get the uh, either that or a, a bag of fluid, I think. Okay, a bag of fluid. Potassium. Is that what you just said? Okay. You know an IV. Yeah. Like gotcha, one of those fucking gotcha. straight to the vein yeah. IVs. But uh, I don't know. What are you doing this weekend? Uh, Bill Burr tomorrow. Oh yeah, we're I will, go- yeah, I we're- will see you there. Do you want to hook up afterwards since you don't want to hang um, out with six other people? Well, well, people? here's the thing. Like when I when I um. You would have thought I said I was going with like a bunch of Nazis or something. No, like no, no, that. no. Who are no. you going with? Six well, people. Well, here's Fuck how, that. Well, here's how it went. Here's how it went. Okay, I, I said, hey, I'm, I'm taking a whiz in the bathroom. You're in here, and I yell, Tim, are you going to Bill Bird today, tonight, or tomorrow? And you see, just how you ate that banana. That uh-huh. was you can't do it like that. What? You just took that thing to the head. No oh, good. Way in. You had a fucking hand like this. All right. Well, I'm gonna. My bad. We're gonna. We're gonna reel that up. All right. No, eat it however you like. Just well, I'm talking to you and looking at you and chew shaming me. <laughs> anyway. The uh, so I go, I go, Tim, are you going to Bill Burr today or tomorrow? And you go tomorrow. And I go, oh, cool. What are you guys doing before? And you're like, ah, we got this dinner thing, but we can link up after. So you immediately went to the 
Because I knew you wouldn't want to go to the dinner. Then, I knew that, then, but I'm saying like afterwards well, then if you want to hang out. Well, then I go, who are you going with? It's, it's just, I mean, would you want to go with me and two other couples that you've never met before? I'd totally be fine with it. As yeah, long as it wasn't that would. fucking that was gorilla fucking that came after me with the uh, tacos at one time. I'll <laughs> hang out with anybody you hang out with other than that fucking baboon. Yeah, that was... Actually, funny. I shouldn't say that because he, 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 he doesn't listen to the show, does he? No. All right, no, go. No. Um, yeah, we're going to, I don't know what, fucking Bill Bird's going to be awesome. We got these tickets. They were like 700 piece. Dude, like a we're, piece? Yeah, or maybe not, but they were, it was expensive. Jesus it was for my birthday. Christ. She got it. Bill Bird's my favorite. He's my favorite. Are so you we're, sitting on stage with him? I good. think ours were like 250 We should have really good, really good seats. And then uh, Theo Vaughn, are you going to go see Theo? I'd love to go see Theo Vaughn. When is he? April something? Uh, no, 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 no. I think May or June. I'll let you know. We got tickets to uh, that, too. Well, can I go to the dinner? But no, I'm doing that. And then uh, got the house to my set. Well, me and the wife. Vincent's in Columbia for 10 days. So that should be uh, that should be a good time. Oh, crazy. Everybody's fucking mom, Andrea, I think his mom, my mom, are all, what's going to happen if he gets kidnapped? I'm like, well, he's going to have a fucking hell of a story now, isn't he? <laughs> where's, they, where's he staying? Uh, I think they're going to Medellin, I think. Medellin or Bogota? I hope Medellin. but With who? Because Bogota, like five or six of his friends, Does a.k.a. Speak- people, a.k.a. people that he met on Instagram, that's her thing now. They all go somewhere and then they fucking collaborate and they work on because everybody's an entrepreneur now, right? <laughs> they all have their own fucking online yeah. social media shit or whatever they're fucking doing. So they just go down there. I think it was six hundred bucks for a week. He was gonna go for a month earlier this year, and I'm like, if you go for a month, I'm coming for a week without question because he was gonna go down there by himself, and I'm pushing the shit out of that. Like, you need to do that. That would be a great life experience. For both of us, because I would like to go to Columbia yeah. for a week, oh, you yeah. know, and uh, he ended up. So right when that was happening, everybody's going, oh, they're kidnapping people down. There. I'm like, fuck that. They kidnap people in Alabama, you know, <laughs> like that's not that big of a deal. And then there was like a wave of like five or six legit kidnappings and killings that happened in about a 10 day span down there. And it's like, yeah, yeah maybe. Yeah, maybe they're onto something. Maybe you shouldn't go right now. <laughs> At least he looks like he fits in down there. You know, a little have, bit, or he looks like a great fucking target. You know, this guy's got a rich grandma. We'll go ahead and fucking kidnap him. That's a good point. <laughs> Can well, you imagine me negotiating with uh, people that take him hostage? Oh. Okay, you want how much now? Yeah. <laughs> no, seriously. Oh, that's your real number? Okay. Oh, We'll just hit him with the thoughts and prayers. There, there okay. it is. Thoughts and prayers. Thoughts That'll and prayers. get you through it. Yeah, he'll be fine. All so. right, well, that's it. Uh, another shout-out to... Uh, Premium Cabinets, John Morgan and them, thank you for making this show possible. Um, if you need any cabinetry work, any type of kitchen remodeling, Premium Cabinets. Uh, so, yeah, thanks to them. And we'll, every Monday, we're going to get back at it. So, sorry for the delay in last week's episode. We appreciate you listening. Sorry if we uh, kind of rambled in a million directions this one. But, uh, and just so everybody knows, we don't have anything lined up. We a lot of these times, we just show up and it's like yeah. fucking like we're hanging out or whatnot. We did not. We have nothing. But we do need to get UFO. What's her name? Mindy? Miranda. Miranda. Come on, Miranda. Yeah. Fucking Miranda shed Smith. some light on Miranda us. Miranda Smith. Yeah. Cool. All so, right, then. All right. Love you. Bye. Huge thank you to our studio sponsor, John Morgan, and the entire Premium Cabinets family for helping make this podcast possible. If you enjoyed this episode, make sure you're following the podcast on all platforms so you don't miss out on any future uploads. Don't forget to join the End is Near, so let's drink beer Facebook group to make sure you stay prepared for the end of days. Till next time, 